So in this video, I'm going to go over what a page is and how to add it to your site. So if you click Add Materials, you'll see there's an Add Page option. Now, a page has all the same features as an assignment. As you can see here, you can insert content, um, you can link stuff. Um, the difference with a page is that it's not graded. So a page is like informational only. So maybe you're doing a project and you want to put a bunch of information and resources together in one location for the project. Um, you could use a page. I like to use pages inside of each chapter to give like a central spot where students can find links to the homework website, etc. So if we click here, um, this is my page inside of chapter one. You'll notice that I have links and other folders. So if I click on chapter one, the page is right here. All of this is part of my page that I created. And you can see below the page, you have the other folders and the notes. And so one cool thing about a page is that you can choose to have it embedded like I do here so that it just automatically pops up or you can have it look like one of these guys where it's a link that students have to click on. So um, let me show you the difference. So if I go to materials and I go add material and I'm gonna add a page. Again, if you haven't watched my how to make an assignment video, I would watch that first um, because that shows you how to use all of these resources. So I have added my content, and then down here at the bottom, you can either display it as a new page or display in line. So inline is the one that I already showed you, so I'm gonna click display on a new page so you can see the difference, and I'm gonna click create. All right, so here's that page. I'm gonna drag it and drop it into my chapter one folder so you can see it next to the existing home page. So now when I click on chapter one, Notice it says hello at the top, but you can't read what's inside of it. It didn't automatically expand like this one did. So this, you'd have to click on it and it would open in a new um, section, just like these links and folders down below. Whereas if you had selected in line, it would appear like this, where all the information shows up inside of the folder automatically.